Roy Sneed has died aged 52 after losing his battle with coronavirus. The Grammy-nominated gospel singer died at hospital in Jacksonville, Florida with his passing being confirmed by his friend, radio personality K.D. Bowie. He posted photo of himself with Troy on social media and captioned it. Don't know how to make sense of this. I'm not okay, man. COVID-19 sucks. Will y'all please pray for Emily the kids? Please. R.I.H. King. Or walk around it, all day. Hashtag R.I.P. Troy Sneed. Troy released his debut album, Call Jesus, in 1999 and has followed that with six further collections, with his last, All Is Well being released on August 7, 2012. The final record was released on Mtro Gospel Label, which he created with his wife Emily and named after combination of their names. Troy was Florida native and he earned his Grammy nomination for his work with Youth for Christ. This was group of teenagers from the Georgia Mass Choir and they released the critically acclaimed Higher in 1999. Troy began his music career with Florida AM School Choir, where he progressed to become the choir's director. Following his graduation, he became teacher at Jacksonville Beach Elementary School but it was music which was his real passion and he soon decided that he wanted shot at that full, time. He also made it to the big screen with an appearance in 1996 film The Preacher's Wife, in which he sang with the Georgia Mass Choir alongside the movie's stars Whitney Houston and Denzel Washington. Troy went to number 2 on the Billboard Gospel Chart. With Work It Out and My Heart Says Yes, the singer is survived by his wife, Emily, and their four children Troy Jr., Ebony, Trey and Tyler.